preacher here. Join me for God's word on my heart. Preacher here. It's time for God's word on my heart. You know what God's put on my heart? He's chosen you. He's planned for you. He's made a way for you. But none of that's going to do any good unless you accept what Jesus Christ has done for you. You see, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. As John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, how much did he love you? So much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes, that's anybody that believes, you're not disqualified because of what you've done, who you are, what your past is, nothing to do with you disqualifies you. Why? Because Christ paid it all. It says that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Do you know whether or not you're going to heaven? If you don't put your, 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 your trust in Christ Jesus today. Ephesians chapter 1, starting at verse 2, says, Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Hey, it says that we've been blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places through Christ. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man may enter the Father's kingdom except through me. If you want to go to heaven, the only way is through Jesus Christ. There's no other way. He paid your way. It's not about what you've done or who you are or what you've did. You cannot earn your way to heaven. Quit trying. Jesus paid your way. Accept the gift that God has given you. Think about this for a minute. Say you're thirsty. You're dying of thirst. And I make you a glass of water. I bring you this glass of ice water. And I say, here it is for you. I hand it to you. Is that water going to do you any good if you don't drink it? You got to take the initiative. Nobody can make you drink that water. And when it comes to Jesus, it's the same way. He paid your way to go to heaven. John 3.36 says, If you believe in the Son, you should have everlasting life. But if you believe not, God's wrath remains upon you. If you believe, you need to accept that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. That He paid the way. That He's the one and only Son of God. That He rose again in three days. If you believe that, you're going to heaven. If you accept it, if you truly accept it, you're going to apply it to your life. You're going to make a change. That's what repentance is. Let, let's read on. It says, Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Christ Jesus, to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Hey, you know, the Bible says that it's not God's will that anyone should perish. Hell is for the devil and his demons. So when he said that he predestined us, he's talking about any human that is alive, that has lived. The thing is, we have to accept it. We have to choose that Jesus died for our sins, that, that, that we want to be a child of God. When we accept it, we become a child of God. We've been adopted through Christ Jesus. Jesus. Understand that you cannot live out what God has willed for you unless you accept it. And that's all you got to do is accept it. It's not rocket science. So let, let, let's read on. To the praise of his, of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to his riches of his grace. Our sins are, are forgiven because through the blood of Jesus we are redempted and forgiven according to his grace. Think about that for a minute. You know, it don't matter what you've done in the past and how much guilt you carry around. Let it go. God says when he forgives, he throws it into the sea of forgetfulness. Never to be brought up again. 
Matter of fact, if you're struggling with something, 1 John 1, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, oops, says, if you confess your sins, the Lord is faithful and just to forgive you your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Now, Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It goes on to say that, that he's given us the gift of the Holy Spirit as children of God. And it says that that gift is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance. Have you accepted God's gift? Have you let God work in your life? Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? If you do, you're going to heaven. If you've chosen not to choose or you're not willing to, you're going to hell. The choice is yours. Christ paid your way. Pick up that glass of water. Accept Christ Jesus today as your Lord and Savior. Makes an eternity a difference. Be blessed.